What's up guys, I'm back. Um, I wanted to make this video about my first two weeks after uh, chemotherapy and my spinal treatment, which was yesterday. Um, just going off of how I felt and my mindset towards uh, the people around me and myself. <laughs> So going after week one on what I think it was October 21st on a Monday I had my chemotherapy um, if you saw my first video you saw a couple hour, hours after chemotherapy you know uh, I believe I had a uh, my heart was racing I felt fatigued and my stomach was a little a little bit gurgly and then from that Tuesday and Wednesday I felt uh, nausea and fatigued. I was nausea and fatigued, but it wasn't major. So I was still able to eat. You know, halfway halfway through eating, out of food, the nausea would kind of go up, so I would have to stop, slow down, wait for it to go away, and then continue to eat. And then going on to later on that Wednesday, I noticed I hadn't passed the bowel movement. So the two nausea medications I was taking, both of them had caused constipation. Not just that, I was probably could have been the chemotherapy as well. And because I had surgery on my lower abdominal and my intestines, um, I cannot get backed up because it, there's a chance it could rupture or possibly tear a hole in the spot that they did surgery in. So on that Wednesday night I had decided not to take any more of the anti nausea pills so on that Thursday morning all the, the the true effects of nausea hit me so from that Tuesday and Wednesday nausea was like it was a constant thing but it was low right but on that Thursday it it went right up there not to the point where I threw up but it was just a constant feeling that didn't go away you know at this point I was still a little fatigued so on that Thursday morning I, I felt the nausea come in and you know before I would be eating halfway through I would have to stop this time it was more constant this time it was every bite I ate I felt and had to wait so me eating it took about 40 minutes to an hour just to finish a little bowl of food that I had or let's say I was eating pizza it, it would take me a while just to just to get it down and um, I think going along on Friday it started getting a teeny bit better but it was still there but on Friday I believe I had lost my my taste so for the next couple days I couldn't taste anything like I had pizza, I put a whole bunch of hot sauce actually. This hot sauce, great by the way. I put a whole bunch of the hot sauce. Couldn't taste it. Like my cheeks, they're sweating. Couldn't taste it. Nothing at all. And I believe I had pizza <laughs> a lot that week. So I had, I had pizza a lot and I couldn't couldn't taste it. None of the foods that I ate tasted good. My dad would cook food. My grandma would cook food for me. Um, soups I couldn't taste, like I said, the pizza I couldn't taste, I had ice cream, couldn't really taste it. Um, as far as diet goes with, with chemo, uh, obviously the doctors want you to be on a healthy diet, but she basically told me whatever you could hold down. And fortunately for me, um, I was able to hold down a lot more foods than I guess the average chemo patient, because they said normally spicy foods. Um, really hit hard with chemo patients and as I just showed you <laughs> I was using this so I was using that with a lot of my meals and I think the the taste me not having tasted lasted or me not having taste lasted about four days so I started on that I believe early Thursday and went all the way to Thursday, Friday, uh, Sunday. And on that Monday, my taste finally came back. And the nausea had come down a little bit. 
and finally passed the bowel movement <laughs> and and going on to that Tuesday the symptoms that I had been feeling went away everything everything went away fatigued my tiredness um, nausea me being nausea when eating gone everything on so from that Tuesday all the way up to I guess now I, I feel fine with chemotherapy as well from Tuesday through Friday I was sleeping 11 to 12 hour days 11 to 12 hour days and and they were solid sleep it was crazy I, I couldn't believe how much I was sleeping but I'm guessing that's just because my body was trying to recover from the damage that chemotherapy was going to do and yeah it, it was a lot of sleep another side effect that they had said I was going to get was um, not being able to sleep they said uh, they said I wouldn't be able to sleep maybe about a week out and yeah on that Sunday and Monday both days I had two hours of sleep and I felt fine so right after those days on that Tuesday I was like all right well, let me go back to working out like how I used to or at least try to and once I did that I was able to fall asleep like normal it wasn't even a problem my mindset going through chemo had definitely changed um, from I want to say Thursday to about Saturday I was just in this or from that first week from so October 21st going on that Monday going to that Thursday through Saturday my mindset was a little different like I try to be positive around people but at the same time in my head and how I was feeling um, I had like a loss of inhibition like I didn't want to do anything like I'll just be laying in bed watching like a video or something on my laptop and I didn't want to do anything like, not that I didn't want to get up I didn't want to move you know I had one of the times I went on a car ride with my girlfriend she's talking to me I'm just blank look uh-huh yes okay then she's like are you okay are you mad I was like no I just I don't know. literally that that was my response response to us coming off as a as a dick to be honest and um that was just how my mindset was like I don't know it was just it was weird Uber it wasn't myself I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to talk you know obviously I was, I was feeling nausea and I was feeling like maybe like a head like uh like lightheadedness and I just didn't feel like doing nothing I didn't feel like talking you, you would take me out I'm just like okay whatever you talk to me yeah uh -huh. oh that's cool just, it was just that and then um, I had to kind of get a hold of my senses and try to get back to obviously what I am because loss of inhibition and things like that, that's not me. I like to get up, I like to move, I like to go places and I wasn't doing that. So in terms of mindset, it definitely changed for those, I want to say three days. So that Thursday, Friday, Saturday definitely changed. But I kind of snapped myself out of it that Sunday to kind of get back into a uh, regular routine and things like that just getting up walking things like that um, I had walked every day though that's just one thing I could say I had walked every day outside but yeah that was my mindset spinal treatment so going through spinal treatment they weren't able to so going through spinal treatment they didn't let me record if you saw my Instagram or uh, Facebook, you probably saw my stories on how I went there. But I kept asking them if I could record. They're like, no, you can't record under uh, legal issues and things like that. And I was like, all right, whatever. So basically what they did was they stuck a needle in my lumbar spine between L2 and 3. They stuck the needle all the way to this fluid-like substance that surrounds my spinal cord surrounds it so needle went right into the fluid they extracted some of the fluid um, out and then once they extracted it out they put the chemotherapy in the whole procedure 
was probably about 40, 45 minutes, but the actual chemo and the extracting process probably took about 10, 12 minutes. It wasn't even long. And the whole procedure they didn't even hurt. The only thing that actually hurt was the numbing medication that went in. So they stuck me, put the numbing medication in, uh, or they prepped me first, they prepped me first, they had me on my side, had me on my side, they prepped me, and and they put like iodine or, or something to clean me up, cleaned up the area, shaved me down, and then they put the lidocaine in, and then once they put the lidocaine in, they numbed me all up, they then stuck the needle in, hit the fluid, let the fluid drain out so then they can collect it. Uh, now what they're collecting it for, I don't know, probably need to ask my doctor. But after they collected the fluid, they then slowly put in the chemotherapy. And as they put in the chemotherapy, um, I didn't feel anything. Uh, literally nothing at all. Maybe a little pressure here and there, but nothing. I didn't feel anything. And then after, like I said, 12 minutes, took it out, cleaned me up, put a band-aid, you're good. And uh, I'll show you guys right now. This was the spot right there. And the cricket weird. I don't even know if you can see it. It's that little dot right there. But yeah, that was it. And uh, afterward, they make you lay down for two hours just because the chances of you getting a headache are high. So they have you lay down flat, head flat, and you just wait there for two hours. And I got really, really bored because their TV wasn't working and they didn't really have any service. So I was just bored the whole entire time. But then after two hours, I got up, I walked away, had a little bit of a headache right back here. But then that went away um, and that was, that was overall it. It wasn't really bad. It was pretty good. Um, I wasn't really scared of the procedure either. I was more like wondering what, what, what it was, how it was going to feel, things like that. But uh, yeah, everything went good. Um, this morning I was a lot tired than what I normally was. It's like today I slept like about 10 hours. I normally don't do that. Um, I keep you guys posted with anything more. Um, next week, Monday, I go back for my second round of treatment. Um, I still have hair too, so it's falling out constantly, but I don't know, I guess I have a lot. <laughs> Alrighty guys, peace out.